So, so Ed Davey, the Liberal Democrat leader, is thinking that by avoiding publicity, by not turning up to the chamber on prime, uh, for prime minister's questions, he can uh, duck the um, political fallout of being so closely tied up with the disaster of the Horizon Post Office scandal. But no, no, no. Uh, there are now talks for Yvonne Tracy, who's a local independent councillor and had been a deputy manager of a post office branch, to be put up against Sir Ed Davey uh, in, uh, for, his, for his seat at the general election. Uh, and um, undoubtedly, at the general election, Sir Ed Davey's uh, responsibilities uh, as the minister for the post office and failure to deal with the fallout and requests for him to return his knighthood and all these other things um these are uh, th these these will be dealt with there are plenty of former postmasters and former postmistresses who i'm sure will support this idea the uh he he's somebody who at least um uh i i, I believe he he said that he actually met Alan Bates. There is a record of him meeting Alan Bates, but the, but the overall impression is that he was contemptuous um, and uh, he refused to talk uh, in any detail to Alan Bates. Um, and, uh, and, and it, you know, there, there are plenty of other instances where uh, the officials in Westminster could have helped and they failed to do so. Lee Anderson, of course, has called on Sir Ed Davey to resign. Uh, he should clear his desk, clear his diary, clear off. Um, Lee Anderson, of course, has been well-schooled in the value and um, purpose of a tricolon. He should have one or two thrown at him. But um, there we are. Meanwhile, Wendy Chamberlain, the chief whip of the Liberal Democrats, I can't imagine why they need a chief whip. There's so few of them defended Sir Ed Davey and said that she understood the visceral anger over the post office scandal. He did ask questions and he was lied to on an industrial scale um, and he had expressed extreme regret over what had happened. I appreciate the visceral anger that is there and the need to call people to account. I believe the public inquiry will do that and I know that Ed will take part and answer any questions. Well, he should have been in the chamber yesterday.